Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have used this floral fabric that I had left over from a previous project to make a tie up crop top. I really like the pattern on this fabric, so I thought I'd use it to make something else. So let's get into it. First, I needed to take some measurements. The first one was how long I wanted my top to be. It needed to be long enough to tie up in the front. My measurement was 57 inches. I added an inch for seam allowance. The second measurement was how wide I wanted my top to be. My measurement was 7 inches. Again, I added an inch for seam allowance. The last measurement I needed was for my straps. Starting where the top edge of my crop top will sit, I measured over my shoulders and roughly decided where the straps would end. My measurement was 16 inches, but I added 2 inches to this to be sure, so I went with 18 inches. These are my measurements again as a reference, but of course yours will differ slightly. With my fabric laying out flat, I measured and marked out a piece that was 57 inches long and 7 inches wide. I then cut this out. This was my outer piece. I then repeated this on a piece of plain white fabric. This will be my lining piece. I then measured and marked out my pieces for my straps. These were 18 inches long and 3 inches wide. I'm making the straps first. Taking my two pieces, I folded these in half, right sides together, and pinned along the long edge. I then sewed where I'd pinned. This is what I had. I then cut the excess fabric off so the straps wouldn't be bulky and turned these inside out so they were now the right way round. I used a safety pin to help me do this. This is how they looked. Next I needed to attach the straps to the outer layer and also make sure that they will be placed correctly. I did this by folding this piece in half and marking the midpoint. I used pins to do this but you could always use chalk or a pen instead. I then unfolded my piece of fabric, and here is my midpoint. From here, I took my chest measurement. This was 36 inches. Taking the 36 inches, I divided this by 4 to give me 9 inches. From my midpoint, I measured 9 inches out on both sides and marked this. Again, I used pins. Then, I divided the 9 in half to give me 4.5 inches. From these two pins, I measured 4.5 inches out and again marked this. This is where one end of my strap will sit. Taking one strap, I place this onto my outer piece with the right sides together and the centre of the strap lining up with the pin. I then removed this pin and used it to pin the strap in place. I repeated this for the second strap and sewed the straps in place. This is how they looked. I then needed to attach my lining layer. I started by folding the straps up and pinning them to the outer piece to keep them out of the way. I then placed the lining piece onto the outer piece, right sides together, and pinned them together along the long edges. Then, on one of the ends, I measured and marked 4.5 inches in from the edge along the top edge and marked this. I then connected this to the bottom corner using a diagonal line and cut along the line I had just drawn, so I had something that looked like this. I used the piece I cut off as a template to do the same thing on the other end. This will stop the ends of the top looking too bulky once they are tied. Once I'd done that, I sewed the two pieces together all the way around but left a small gap at the bottom. This will allow me to turn the piece the right way after sewing. This is how it looked. I now needed to turn this piece inside out so the right side of the fabric was on the outside. I started by removing the pins that were holding the straps in place and then pulled the fabric through the gap I had left, making sure to push the corners out so the top would have a neat finish. I 
I then gave the top a quick iron to make sure all the seams were sitting flat. At this point, I had a special guest appear to see how I was getting on. After I'd ironed, I top stitched all the way around the edges to give the top a neater finish and to also stop the lining fabric from showing. The last thing I needed to do was attach the straps to the back of the top. I tried the top on with it inside out as I'd been marking the fabric with pen so you can see the marks I'm making but I'd recommend using chalk here. I then pulled the straps over my shoulders and marked each side of each strap onto the top so I knew where they needed to be sewn on. I also noted how much of the strap was hanging past the top edge so I knew how long they needed to be. Mine was about an inch. I then laid the top out flat and taking one strap I placed it between the two lines I had just drawn and made sure the bottom of the strap was hanging over the top edge by an inch and pinned this in place. I repeated this on the other strap, then sewed them in place. Once the straps were sewn on, the top was complete and this is how it looked. This crop top is really quick and easy to make, so it would be a great first project for someone in time for summer. I paired mine with the skirt I made in my half circle tutorial and I think this makes a really nice summer outfit. I'll leave a link to that video in the description below if you wanted to check that out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.